Hi guys, how you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you are having an inspiring day today. And today I wanted to have a look at Lassie, which is a city in Romania. And this was actually uh, passed to me by Adrian Pop through Facebook. Thank you, Adrian. And he uh, actually lives in Lassie. And he showed me some of the architecture and the buildings and this place is pretty amazing guys now this what we're looking at here is the palace that's they're calling it the palace of culture now and as you can see that is just a huge old world building and we have windows at ground level going into the ground we've got all this you know sort of geometric geomancy around the around the palace you know circles here cut into segments of what's this one eight and another one here you know the water features everything we see everywhere it's all here it's you know antiquitech the lot so let's get in and have a look at lassie i hope i'm saying that correctly lassie or lassi uh, in romania it's almost, this stuff reminds me almost like Greece in the Athens and the Romans, how it all is. Alright, so here's some more shots of the, uh, the palace. And look at this thing. I mean, obviously we've got, you know, these spires and stuff everywhere. I've seen this quite a bit recently on roofs. I'm not really sure what they are. Sometimes they look like windows. Sometimes they're like the portals, the port windows. Uh, but I'm not sure whether this roof is just covered in them. And look at the size of this building. Even look at the size of this statue. Because these are cars. Now I'm not sure if that's a person or not. No, but you can see that's a car, so... It's sort of, you know, this kind of height. And look at the size of that. And this building, it's just huge. Clock towers and a massive, massive tower at the front here. Ah, that's another shot of the tower, the clock tower. And just this antiquity looking stuff everywhere. Just all over it. Just covered. And the symmetry again is just... These buildings are so symmetrical. They just... You know, the level of work that would go into getting these so perfect, you know, it would be a lot. Another shot here. This one, I don't know why, it just looks very uh, Freemason to me for some reason. I think it's probably just the look, you know, the two pillars. You know, I, I don't know, but got a big eagle here. And just, yeah, this is this is just the front bit just that tower and it looks like it I don't know is it is it part of the original building it looks like it might be an add-on there and I'll show you some more photos in a minute um, there are there's a big shot again some shots of, of this building just in different phases uh, over the last couple of hundred years this is inside and again you can see that it's massive we get this on the floor now I saw a video the other day. <clears throat> Mark Flo, it was Mark Flo channel, and he has a video on uh, cathedrals, and it's really good. I'll leave the link below in the description. It's definitely worth a watch. And this guy also needs, you know, more subscribers, guys. So check out his channel. He's, he's done some really good work. But he was talking about below all the domes, we have these these floors with different shapes in them and he was talking about how they could be some kind of circuit board running energy because he was talking about sound vibration going up because we see the these internal domes and you can see this one here and they all have a point in the middle so if the sound vibrations you know if there's sound vibration it'll be funneled into a, a central point and then we always have things below this dome. In this case, we've got this chandelier type thing. And then on the ground below, there's like a circuit board sort of in the ground. And these are all, you know, it's the different colors. Is that because they're all different 
types of stone, so it's like some kind of, you know, resistor or something, or, you know, I don't know, but it was really interesting, and of course we have all the, you know, the, the sort of Masonic checkerboard here, but could that be the same kind of thing? You know, two different types of materials. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I'm not up on my electrics. Is that a capacitor? I'm not sure. I really need to study up on electrics more. But yeah, I found that interesting. So, I mean, and this is the inside. Look at the size of this. We have these as well, which we see everywhere. Uh, you know, these are very similar to cymatics and things. Again, acoustics. So, yeah, I'll leave the link to that video. Have a watch of it. And, I mean, just look at the work here. It's just, you know, amazing, right? And this is the Metropoli <laughs> Metropolitan Cathedral in Lassie. And again, you can see huge domes, completely symmetrical, big, you know, what we're calling Greco-Roman facade at the front here. We've got the port windows or the portals, all this, you know, these spires, antiquity looking stuff, clock, I mean, <laughs> oops, it's just textbook, isn't it? And, and here at the front, we have the horse and carriage, so you can get a scale of size. This thing is huge. And here's another shot of it. Uh, this looks like it's from the backside because now we've got two of these, you know, Greco-Roman sort of portico entranceway things. And look at this internal archway that that sort of been scooped out there. Um, so I mean, I'm not sure what that is. It's pretty interesting though. But again, look at this. It's just surrounded by mud, dirt. There's no roads. And look at the size of this thing. I mean, they're expecting us to believe that what? They were just dragging all these materials in horse and cart on these dirt roads. I mean, come on. And this is it today. Still standing. Still got its antiquity, you know, little cross antennas on the top. And yeah. Looks pretty good. This one does seem to go into the ground a bit, but I don't have any good photos of it. And here is a photo of just the succession of... This is the palace. Uh, the, the... What are they calling it? The, I've forgotten what they called it. The palace. Um, and you can see here, 1806 to 1827. Um, let's see if we can get a bigger shot. It's looking fairly plain. Then the, in 1843, it looks a bit different. These these front bits look a bit rounded. And these are very squared. These have got the triangles on top. These don't seem to. This seems to be taller. Maybe that's just the perspective. And this bit here seems to have popped up. There also seems to be more of these chimney things. And as you can see, this one, not showing windows going into the ground, but this one... Are they windows? I'm not really sure. They just see how they're directly under the windows on top and they go straight into the ground. I mean, there could be bushes, but there's no other bushes around. So I'm not sure about that one. And this is um, 1883. So now we've got this big uh, copper roof on the front here. These are definitely rounded. In here, they look pretty squared off. Very right angled, and now they're rounded. Also, the windows in... See how they're all square or rectangle here? Look, these are all... You can see the actual shape is rounded. I'm not sure if that's just because we can't see, you know, the facade on this one or whatever, because they are still square windows, but, but obviously looking like a very different building. And <laughs> this is it today. Look at the tower now. This is the tower we saw before. And apparently this went up in 1925. So, and compared to this, it looks like there are these four extra, you know, sort of roofs being put on. And the other thing is all these bits in the roof that we saw, all these sort of window portal things, they don't seem to be present here or here or even here. So what's going on? I mean, these look like four completely different buildings. But we're told it's all the same building. 
all the Palace of Culture. That's what's called the Palace of Culture. So that's all the same building, we're told. I mean, if it is, there's been a lot of retrofitting going on over the time. And that's all been done in 120 years. Interesting. And of course, it caught fire <laughs> because it's brick. So this is, uh, the yeah, I'm not sure what year this is, but I think I've got something on. I think it's the 1700s. And yeah, it burned, but it's still there. It's still standing, guys. This is just another photo. All these were sent to me by Adrian. Uh, thank you again, Adrian. And just to show the architecture again, it's all through this city. Now, another big statue here. Just the classic, you know, dome, portals, columns, archways, symmetry, triangle, portico thing. It's just, yeah, all over the place. There's also some mud flutters. He's just sent me some random photos. You can see this one here. This is the level of the front door, and we have a window here going into the ground. Old building, very old style. Look at this big archway. Greco Roman there. Apparently, there's, he says that there are lots of these around. Here's another one, and again, just look at the building. I mean, <laughs> apart from the fact that it looks very, you know, too short, like it should be a lot bigger, just look at the artwork and the. the artistry that's gone into this and just again just the same things columns you know these triangle porticos all this stuff and down here we have a door below ground level you can see this is the road level it's been that level for a while because we've got these trees growing and then down here it's obviously there's a lower level down there that's been cleared out and this building here it, is interesting this is 1943 and this is today and see how this is blank but up here we can see there's a crest or a coat of arms uh, so it's been taken off see and this is 43 so this is you know sometime in the last well gosh it's 70 years or so now but so they're still doing this retrofitting by the looks of it and it looks like they, you know, they've changed the look of the building a bit. They've definitely taken that off. I'm not sure if they've recolored it, but they've got their flags out the front now. And of course, there's windows going straight into the ground here and here and here and here. So the changing of history, guys. And here we have a better shot of the palace uh, and the windows that go into the ground. So you can see uh, these big archways. You can see that they just look way too wide to be that short. And these ones straight into the ground pretty much and even these you can see the size of the windows above you know they've clearly been cut and filled in all completely symmetrical and also you see this so often in these big buildings that are still standing see these different levels you see it's, it's completely terraced you see that so what's going on under the ground here you, know, you can see all the steps going up we've got all these, you know, sort of fountains and steps and things. But what's actually under the ground here? How big is this building? Okay, and I also found a very interesting website. This is all on uh, Lassie or Lassi, Lassi. Um, it's actually in well, Romanian, I, I think. And sorry, uh, up the top here, Romanian, uh, blah, 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 blah. So this is Lassie, city of Lassie and its history. Here we have some old drawings. Here's another one now. Here you can see this. This is the palace up here. And look how huge it is. Not sure what, there's no dates on these photos, but obviously these, you know, horse and carts. So, you know, 1880s before, maybe. Got these pillars in the background there, all these towers, and this huge wall. Which we'll talk about more later. Uh, here's another shot. Now, see this line in the background? 
Not sure what looks pretty interesting. And so let's have a look. Can you see that line? Goes along there. What I'm looking at is, can you see this? Does that look like it's a building that's been whited out? Can you see like a tower there and a couple of windows, bits down here, more coming off? I don't know, it just looks like there's something there. And we just have this line across. Now is that is that blotting stuff out? I, mean, I don't know, but I mean, even if it's not, just there's, there's tons of buildings through here. Obviously we have the smaller houses and stuff, but this is obviously a big two-story brick building, big brick buildings, big tower. Uh, now this is a really interesting shot. See these four uh, domes here? That was what we were seeing there. There are those four domes. This is it. This looking very like Chinese, you know, isn't it? But look at the mud. See these carts, like they're literally half, the wheels are half in the water or the mud or whatever this is down here. Completely flooded out. So even a little wall along here. And just cute, I mean, look at the size of this thing. This is the building we looked at before. Uh, it's still there. And looking at the story as well, it gets interesting down here a bit. Uh, here's a, what looks like a tram. But as you can see, the, the tram lines are in the ground here. And there's none underneath the horse. So this is like a tram, but it must be on wheels. Next to tram lines. Yeah, very, very strange. Very strange. The city did not appear random. The place where it was lived since ancient times. So it's been there for a while. Several human settlements were discovered in this area. Some traces from the Paleolithic. Now, just in case they hadn't caught on, the Paleolithic never existed. The Paleolithic is what they tell us is, you know, caveman, all this kind of stuff, uh, 10, 12,000 years ago, the exact same time that massive megalithic structures were being constructed all over the earth, or so we're told, or so dating told, but, you know, th there's no evidence for this Paleolithic time. It just doesn't make sense. It's just more, more BS, just to change the timeline, just to say, well, all that's really been is 6,000 years. You know, there was no previous civilization. No, no, no. Um, among the hills in the area, people were especially attracted by one. Is this it? Uh, the Baru River. The first city or the royal court. Here's a shot. Again, no dates, but look, this is just completely built out. We've got, you know, these domes everywhere. And as we get down here, it starts to talk about the Tartars. Again, old world architecture, that's the palace again. That says extensive discussions were held. There were several years, including 1395, which is present on an inscription from the Armenian church. They were restored in 1803. So it's been around for a while, this. A good part of the specialists dispute the validity... The valid, <laughs> a good part of the specialists dispute the valid, validity of this inscription because the Armenians recorded the passage of time according to their calendar which begins in the year 551. So again all these problems with times and dates. Uh, historians agree that the year 1408 when Lassie appears as a place of taxation for Polish merchants. So it's been around at least since the 1400s they're saying. Here's a shot and look at this. This just looks like it's you know, Greece or Rome or something. Look at the size of this. Uh, and it looks like it's, I'm pretty sure that dome is on the top of this. It's like a lighthouse or something, or just a massive big pillar. It's not an obelisk, but look at that. It's got a dome on the top of it. So what is that all about? And just these, you know, huge old world buildings, miniature people, another nice old building. This might be the palace as well. But, you know, this is the stuff we just see all over the world. There you go, we've got a date, 1926. Oh, okay, so that's 1914. Okay, 22nd June. Okay. 
1923, I'm guessing. So let's see if there's a date. No, there's no dates for those. <laughs> um, okay, so down here, again, look at this. This time the tram is on the train track, the tram tracks, which would make sense. And look at these buildings. Okay, now we get down to this bit, which is wars and plagues. I'll leave this link as well and all the other links just so you can read. This is all about the city. Here we have this, uh, I've forgotten what it was called now, but this building again. In its long history, the city was not spared misfortunes, attacks and robberies from the Tartars and other nations, as well as fires and earthquakes, were frequent. For a long time, the Tartars were a real calamity for the Lassie. So this is obviously, this is Google Translation, so they're a real problem. Uh, the tragic killing of Lonvoda in 1574 was followed by a Tartar attack, which had devastated the entire region, burned most of the cities which is by Peter the Skipper, the Lord who followed the throne, was also called Voter of the Fields. One of the most dramatic moments for the city was the destruction of 1650 when the Cossacks and Tartars attacked Moldova. Responding to Vassal Lupu's refusal to marry his daughter with Timus Hamelnitschi, <laughs> Mirren Costin tells us that they burned all the city, the court being abandoned by the bailiffs, left by the Lord for safekeeping. The only saving of the inhabitants was Codri Lassilor. Usually such attacks were followed by periods of famine and poverty. In the second reign of uh, that guy, after a few years of war, cases of cannibalism are mentioned. Dead people everywhere. Uh, and then it says those... Uh, Cholera broke out, and those affected by the plague were isolated in the Lassie Valley at Tarta, at Tarita's Hermitage. Is this Tarita's Hermitage? Not sure. Another massive old world building, though. And this place is just filled with them. And again, down here, a bit more about the Tartars. You know, expeditions of Tartars, Poles, and Cossacks. So it's interesting read. And again, it just goes through all these fires. But they're all brick building. <laughs> look at this. I mean, look, look. These are cars. Look at the size of this. Yeah, so fires. Um, neglect of the city often led to fires, which have devastating effects. Most of the buildings were raised from wood, and they were prey for fire. Now, I don't haven't seen any wooden buildings, really. They're all brick uh, people hid through monasteries, the only fortified palaces in the city next to the courtyard, but even th though did not escape, another devastating fire was in 1723. Broke out from a house above the church of St. Dimitri Bowles. From where in a clock stretched to the yard, fires like this have occurred every decade, sometimes even more. Great fire of 1785. I mean, this is ridiculous. Prefaces the prince's palace in Ash. Now, I mean, how were they able to build all these buildings if they were constantly attacked? And and by the way, where's all the damage? If they were constantly attacked and the city was burning down every 10 years, how did they get all this stuff built? And and in, you know, such style, I mean, this is, they're not just buildings. This is just, it's like artistry. And it's all designed for a specific purpose. You know, it's all to do with energy fields and sound and frequency. And they're all completely symmetrical. It's not the kind of stuff you, that you build if you're constantly under attack. And, you know, you're going through famine and all this kind of stuff. It doesn't make sense. Uh, frequent fires have printed a specific to the settlement. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. After the fire burned down their homes, even the wealthy townspeople preferred to remake their homes out of wood because it was cheaper and the house rose faster. So it just says there, you know, they were building out of wood because it made sense. So who, who built all this stuff? And look at this. But this is ridiculous, this one. Look at the size of it. Again, perfect symmetry. So it's just got this crazy, crazy story. This keeps burning down, burning down, getting attacked, having all these famines, 
but they just seem to be able to keep rebuilding and keep all these buildings. And again, like no scars of war on these buildings. They all look, it's like the Star Force, isn't it? They look in perfect condition, but we're told that they keep getting burnt down. There was all these wars and everything. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Straight out of Rome. So we're told. It just, I mean, is that the top of a window there? I don't know. Maybe that's a piece of wood. But see the steps going up? That looks, they just, there's more under that, I would guarantee. And here we have another classic old world building. Domes on top, we can see four on the corners, one in the middle and another one here. And of course, just spires everywhere, arches and columns, symmetry. This is from 1841. Uh, then it gets, looks like it's going into more modern times. 1929 again, look at the size of this statue. And <laughs> what is this building? You know, these, <laughs> this city is just full of them. Look at these, you know, twin towers, double towers. This is, uh, oh, it looks like it could be that building. See how that's rounded at the front and then squared off? And this is sort of the same, but this has got two pillars and this has got one. Berserica Nicolae Dominesque. Um, I don't know, this looks like something different. Does this say 1669? That looks like a photo. Not sure what's going on there. Um, you know, I mean, it's just everywhere. It's just ridiculous, right? Look at this one. Is that 1930? So this place... Here's another aerial shot. And you can always you can also see the symmetry in the way the buildings are sort of built. Like this big long one here, sort of around this central building. Here's I think this is that other one we saw, it looks like it. Oh that that doesn't have a tower. It's just it must be just a ton of buildings that look the same here. Look at this. This is an aerial shot of the unit, uh, the palace, I think. Yeah, it's got all the gardens and stuff in front of it. But just look in the background, what's going on? I mean, these are huge buildings. 1912. <laughs> They're just everywhere. So this is just a completely old world city just built out and oh that's pretty cool one of the monuments and here we have digging some holes putting some pipes in water pipes whoa look at that that's the again the the palace <clears throat> And this is inside. Look at this. Look at the size of it. Look at these archways. I mean, <laughs> just ridiculous kind of stuff, right? I could just, there's a lot of photos here. I could keep going. I mean, look at this. Looks like the White House or something. Just, just stuff everywhere. And <clears throat> this place also has another secret. And what would you expect to find in an old world city with, you know, these kind of buildings? You know, domes and spires everywhere, cathedrals. What else would you expect to find? Well, how about a star fort? And this is a picture of, you now I've been calling it Lassie and it's, it's now coming up as Easy. Um, this isn't older. This is 1600 or 1700s. Uh, it's now got one S. But as you can see, this is a star fort with all the cathedrals and bits and pieces that go along with it. Uh, here you can see these stepped up uh, sort of houses that are stepped up on the side there that we saw in America in the 1600s. So in a similar architecture to New York, New Amsterdam, and this is in Romania in Central Europe. <laughs> so 
Definitely connections all over the world. One world civilization not too long ago. And this is the castle, the uh, fortified complex of, and there again now it's got, well maybe that is an I, maybe I was just reading it wrong, Iasi, uh, 1669 they're saying it was built, and as you can see this is a walled, this is just a little part of the fort, but you can see this is all walled off, and inside we have this double domed building we saw before, I think that's a monastery or a church, and all these other bits, here we have the wall again, Here's this building. I mean, is that not amazing? Look at that thing. And that again just looks just looks like the top of something bigger. And another building. These are all inside that wall. Nice old world buildings. <laughs> looks like we've got some lower levels. Or maybe that, I don't know, that might be a tower. Stairway to a tower. Definitely been finished with something. See this? So that might not even be be stone. It might have just been finished to look like stone. All this, you know, we're just so familiar with this kind of architecture now. It's just everywhere, inside domes. Artwork everywhere. A lot of it obviously has been replaced, rebranded. Huge doorways, <laughs> towers, the lot. And this is all... There we go, there's a wall there, massive bell, 669, now what does that look like? I think that's a 1, and see how the spacing is different, it's further away, so that, I don't know, could be a J, I'm not sure, an I. But it does def doesn't look like a 1, it looks like a different font and everything to this 669, doesn't it? I-669. So that means, just in case you don't know, the year 669 in the year of Iusa, which is another word for, name for Jesus, or the year of our Lord. So they've, they've um, basically added a thousand years to our timeline by changing all these I's, J's, and X's into 1's. Here we go, more of the wall. So this is like a completely walled in. Again, what is that? Who puts a window in, <laughs> in a fort wall? I mean, it, actually, it actually looks like an old huge doorway that's just sort of been filled in. Now this again, you know, it looks chinese doesn't it? Like a pagoda type thing. Got a wall around here, this is how it's sitting out on wood. Pretty cool. And here's another big shot. And just see the shape there. It looks like, you know, it's a familiar shape too that we see um, around star cities, but they're sort of not connected. Um, they're just sort of like the, the big sort of rampart looking things. And this is just all built out inside with a cathedral type building in the middle. So there you go, guys. A bit of a walk through uh, Iasi, Iasi in Romania, and a look at all the old world buildings there, and a few questions as to who built them and how they got built. You know, with with all the the wars and the fires and the famines that went on, because this place is just just full, just fully built out with old world buildings. All right, hope you enjoyed that, that one, guys. Thanks for spending some time with me, and I'll catch you on the next upload. Bye for now.